And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Demacia Sacrifice. Our last brand new deck here on day one. We're gonna have ranked tomorrow. Uh, right now ranked is in like a little bit of a, it's in a downtime right now, but we're gonna be playing um, some games here with this, this deck. This is basically, you know, this is like the Callista Lucian deck that we've been playing, but I'm, re I'm just kind of renaming it, rebranding it, calling it Demacia Sacrifice. All right, so the reason why I wanted to play this deck it's a lot of old cards, only a couple of new cards, but those are some really important new cards that we will get to here in just a second. But um, I know it's day one of our new set, um, and not everybody has like a ton of shards to be able to use to be able to get all sorts of new cards. So I wanted to play two decks. You know, we're playing two decks that have lots and lots of new cards. That was the um, Scout Midrange and the Deep Sea Monsters. Those have tons of new cards. Uh, but then the other two, Sejuani, Frostbite, and Demacia Sacrifice, both of those have a lot of old cards for if you if you just have a few things to craft. All right, now going back to this deck, um, also I guess the last little thing is that, you know, we got our 12-hour stream on Saturday to celebrate the, the new set, and we're going to be playing, of course, tons and tons of decks there for a 12-hour stream. Probably like 10 different decks we'll be playing on Saturday. All right, but anyway, too, uh, this this deck, I really wanted to play a deck that showcased Blighted Caretaker. I think this is a really, really powerful new card. Three mana, two, one. Whenever you play it, you kill an ally to summon it to Saplings. Those are the two, one challengers. You get two Fleet Feather trackers um, that are ephemeral. Um, this just seems awesome, especially when you pair it with things that you want to, to kill. If we have turn two Curse Keeper, Turn three, we have the Caretaker. Now we have a regular 2-1, a 4-4, four, four, and two Ephemeral 2-1 two, Challengers to take out their blockers. That seems pretty awesome. Um, it also just works perfectly with Callista because if you have a Callista in play, the Caretaker kills one thing and it makes two Ephemerals. So that's three three allies that are dying. You're leveling up Callista just on its own. Like Caretaker just levels up Callista. Also can really help level up Collusion. Th sorry, level up Lucian. Three out of four um, of your allies dying for your Lucian. The other new card here is Grizzled Ranger. This is just another great Last Breath. Um, this is kind of like Cursed Keeper, where Last Breath you're getting a generic 4-4. It does cost four mana, but it, it can do a lot more than Cursed Keeper. It's a better attacker. It can block. It has Scout. Um, you know, it does a lot of stuff. I really like Grizzled Ranger as a card. So I think this this kind of deck got a couple of really big upgrades. As far as removal goes, I'm taking out Vengeance and I'm taking out Grasp of the Undying and instead playing Concerted Strike. I think this can, you know, it's cheaper than Vengeance and it's going to, um, it's going to basically be Vengeance for five mana. I feel like, if, especially if we have some decent units, which we should in this deck. So I, I'm really excited about this Concerted Strike. All right, but let's let's give it a try. Demacia Sacrifice. We got everything up, ready to go. Let's go play five five games, and let's have some fun. Here we go. Those of y'all on YouTube, remember leave those comments. Let me know what you want to see. What do you want me to build around uh, for future streams and for our twelve-hour stream and everything like that. All right, let's get rid of Rekindler and Butcher. I'll keep these two. We gotta find some things to kill. All right, we're playing against the deck that we played earlier, Misfortune plus Quinn. That was the scout mid range that we played earlier. They got the um, Bilgewater board, love that board. I'm just going to be humming the Bilgewater song for like ever now. Get bloody, get paid. Wow. Don't stand wow, what a card. That's pretty great. I mean, I guess, you know, like whether it has vulnerable or not, I mean, challenger, I guess. Yeah, I guess I just should have played the Lucian into that thing anyway, but oh well. Go little Badger Bear. Mm. 
one of the good guys, but not that good. Bet. Love ya. That misfortune was misfortunate. My thoughts had an amazing hand, haven't they? Turn one Fleet Feather Tracker, the turn two Hired Gun, this thing on three, then on turn four, another Tracker plus Misfortune. They've had a wonderful hand. I could see them taking this. I want them to take it. I don't want them to block. I could see them I could see them taking it with me at eight. And them having like this thing that does one damage to things that block. That is a misfortunes make it rain. We still got two misfortunes. That was pretty greedy. Pretty greedy by them. These loyal badger bears. I, of course, would rather do that offensively, but, you know, sometimes you just got to stay alive for a turn. Sometimes you just got to stay alive. We're in a pretty decent spot. All right, Quinn is gone. We have two things die for Callista. There we go. That'll make another thing die. Um. And I'm pretty sure Callista's bringing back Rekindler, right? Which will bring back another Callista. Pretty sure. Dude, this Blighted Caretaker is nice. Just like they can't like they can't attack anymore. Choose an enemy. This enemy right here. This ally and this ally will strike it. We just have the better single combat. Oh, 
Oh, right. That thing's ephemeral, though. So I shouldn't have targeted it. Targeted it. That's yeah, fine. They weren't. It wasn't blocking anyway. It's fine. I like that. I like that card in their deck. Ooh, they tossed a couple barriers. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Rekindler Callista. <laughs> oh, what a combo. What a combo. Champion capsule. Dude, we need some champion capsule life. Alright, what are we getting? So it's the Demacia Champion Capsule. I already have Quinn's, the Demacian Champion. So I already so it's gonna be just a random champion. Fizz! Alright, that's my third Fizz. I'm pretty sure that's my third Fizz. Cool. Alright, we're almost at this Demacia card back. Maybe it's better for me to change and try to go for more champion capsules, though. Get some Swains. Probably is. We don't really need the Demacia card back. We have Garen card back, which is a Demacia card back, so... Let's go Let's go try to get Sw Swain. I was on Demacia because I was already... I already started at level 21. Um, we will play... We're playing. Duh, duh, there we go. Demacia. Yeah, caretaker already MVP. Yeah. Okay, so they're going full on Demacia. You know, going for the allegiance. Looks pretty good. Do you keep second Senna? I guess so. Uh, this Undying looks silly. We're probably never playing this Undying. Push back the darkness. There's a chill in the air. What? No attacks? There's not a trick I could have had that kept them from getting three damage in. Like, they had a free attack. Right? Like, there's not a, any one mana thing that, that stops that. As far as I know. Like, in, in Demacia Shadow Isles? Something I'm unaware of? Mark of the Isles? Yeah, but that's still a two for one. Okay, mark yeah, mark of the Isles. You're covered. I obviously do not want to see single combat. I'm a little worried about another barrier that would take out my Lucian. No! Let's 
Wait, I think just had barrier still. I <laughs> shouldn't have attacked with that 4-4, four, four, but... Uh, oh well, it worked. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of a silly attack. <laughs> by me. Yeah, they, they switch it up. Sometimes Lucian shouts Senna whenever Senna dies. Sometimes Senna goes Lucian, you know, like all dying sounding. They can just kind of switch it up. It's not always the exact same voice line wise. Frown too much. Your face will stay like that. <laughs> Unlikely with you around. I don't like all these barriers. I do like drawing a lot of Lucians. Oh, some things I like, some things I don't. Drawing Lucians, good. Drawing all these barriers, not so good. I want to have Concerted Strike available. Any other attacks or nah? Valor! Was that Quinn yelling Valor? Away with you, stranger. Valor. I know, her little bird. We, we shall not rest until all betrays me. Poor little birdie. Purity and heat. Bring in the heat. Single combat's a good draw. This is going to be a difficult turn for the opponent to stay alive. Honestly, Lucian should be attacking before Senna. But yeah, like they're... They're dead. Jack says, Purpose purposely sacrificing Senna for Lucian level is one of the funniest plays in the game. I love it every time. Now it's one of the saddest plays in the game. But I, I guess I, I can understand where you come from. The Undying just feels really slow in these matchups. have them waste six mana. Sure, I don't do five damage. Oh my gosh, that card is so bad. Hmm. 
So my best play is Caretaker, flip the Callista. Yeah, we'll just do it. It's the best play. But I would like to have Lucian in play first. No. Suddenly that card's not so bad. No. No. I should have played Lucian. Gotta get used to these new cards. Thinking my Callista was gonna survive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Senna is a card you would normally protect, but with Lucian out there, you just throw her away. Don't get in my way. Vision to see what others have. No room for doubt. burn then rekindle anew this deck is sweet this deck that we're playing Mason, reporting for duty. bestow upon them the gifts of our empire so I could sing in response I could single combat these Oh, my 4-4 four four doesn't die, though. I was thinking, and then we'd level up Lucian. 4-4 four four doesn't die. For the glory of Noxus. Let's just play this thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah so they get, they get their two cards. For the Empire. The few. So I play Rekindler pre-combat. I mean, I probably should. Get Callista out there before things start dying. Return to us. And I'm, I'm not playing Butcher, of course, because I want to attack first. Um let things you know have something die so we get to rally if they if nothing dies then we can play the butcher i'm what nightmares fear come come this way um this is guess we can play the loot yeah we can attack with the lucian also your path ends here yeah kill stuff go ahead do it do it Stay back. Yes. More trades. This deck feels really good. It feels like that the two new upgrades um, are really good. This here. Blighted Caretaker and then the, the Badger Bear card, the Grizzled Ranger. Both those seem like real big upgrades. Y'all ready to see something crazy? Y'all ready for this? No, don't surrender! Oh, 
I know I was going to be able to attack a whole lot, but, you know, I was going to be able to play the, the Ravenous Butcher, sack something else, level up Callista, right, and then go straight, then go to attacks. Callista would bring back Rekindler, get another Callista. <laughs> like, we were going to have such an insane turn. I know they were, they were only at 7 and we were doing lots of damage and so it's not like it's not like any of that mattered but it was going to be incredibly incredibly good So I'm keeping Ranger and I'm keeping Single Combat. Glimpse Beyond, I'm not sure about. We'll get rid of it. Yeah, you don't have like a real big creature to kill. I mean, you have the Undying, which it does seem like the Undying is too slow. I could see. Maybe getting rid of the Undying. I don't know. Maybe not. But yeah, you basically just have like Undying or you just have like... You, know, you have like four power things to sacrifice. Atrocity just is kind of a removal spell. It's just really versatile. There's some there's some games like against control decks, especially against like Karina control, where it really does end up being difficult to... Um, get like the last points of damage across and like having having a spell that can do direct damage can be really valuable you always toss opening hand glimpses I keep them against um They have like all this mana here. I'm I'm worried about an attack. We don't need to attack right now. <clears throat> I keep them against removal heavy decks, like Ezreal decks. Glimpse is great against Ezreal. Sure, you can have another one of those. Because you know Ezreal's game plan is targeting your units. No, thank you, Plow. Man, Chronicler of Ruin plus Grizzled Ranger. Kind of seems too good to be true. So that's number one. Pledge to send one is first. You fool. Let's see, what is this? It survives damage, it gets plus three, plus zero. Um, that's fine. Another day and fight. So much damage. You must be Lord Vladimir. And you must be Supper. I don't have room for very many of these saplings. 
Let's just do Chronicler. No, let's do... Let's do this. Because this is going to level up Callista and Lucian. Because we have this thing that's going to die and level up Lucian also. I love a taste of the action. Give them a chance! One suffers, another dies. All right, there, Vladimir stays alive. Vladimir was already staying alive. But I guess now they level. Oh, they were doing it the other way. Oh, okay, never mind. I was doing a pre combat so we kill like all these these things first before like we would have died to blockers dying, but. It's all good. They're dead. It's all good. I take extra damage, but I but like my my units wouldn't have taken damage. Like I would I got to keep the two one alive, for example. Like the two one would have died. My four four would have taken damage, and by casting a pre combat, I would have killed those things before they would have dealt any damage to my units. And it's like that that little bit of extra life my life total to me is isn't isn't. Uh, a big deal at all. All right, Karma Ez. This is where maybe we could get that undying. Keep this glimpse beyond. Ugh. Do you want to draw Cursed Keeper or Undying? So we want to draw Curse Keeper and, and and Undying. Let's draw those. Draw a champion now. Curse Keeper, Undying, Champion. Okay, Curse Keeper, yay. What, what spells do I have in here that they're going to get? Glimpse Beyond, Single Combat, On Guard, Withering Whale, Concerted Strike, Atrocity. It's unfortunate they're drawing one of these because they could, they'll just go straight to combat. Oh, really, really Ravenous Butcher? Now you show up. Check out the goods on this one. I'm worried about playing the Grizzled Ranger first, and then they cast, um, you know, the four mana card, do one damage to two different things, and they do one damage to both my stuff, both my things. That card, Static Shock. All right, let's mess some folks up.
Draw two. That card's good. Here we go. Nice CDN dude, yeah. Yeah, definitely. This is a good this is a good one to, to join right right as soon as rank opens, definitely. It may be that Withering Whale isn't as good. We'll have to kind of see. The games that we've been playing, we haven't really needed Withering Whale. But we haven't really seen like Karina control, like things like that we need to that we want to sweep their board. All right, so they got single combat from me. That's not so bad, and that's not really a bad use of single combat for me. Next turn, I can go Callista plus Caretaker and level up Callista. I got the goods. What's this you got there? <laughs> I mean, it's better to do that on my attack phase. So maybe I just go Ranger plus Lucian. Put on me mask, secure me tail, start the day. That's not a bad turn either. Yeah, yeah, I'm up. We'll do that. Wish we could go even wider. There's so much value in like all these cards. Push back the darkness. <laughs> like sure they've killed stuff, but we have a board of four fours. <laughs> That doesn't seem like a very good Mushroom Cloud. You know, they may need that one mana for something else. Not letting them, like, play Yone first. Hey, Pack for Life. What's up? Yeah, this, this deck just feels really, really good. These new cards. Caretaker and Grizzled Ranger. Those two cards are so strong. Like, look at this, like, Grizzled Ranger. Excuse you. Yeah, I can, Pac. All right, so there we go. That's Demacia's Sacrifice. This deck looks like the real deal, and it, it felt like the real deal. Um, the Undying seemed like maybe a little unnecessary, maybe slow. You know, we'll see if, you know, if, uh, we didn't really play against too much control, but that's really where the Undying is going to shine. Um, uh, Withering Whale, same kind of thing. Didn't really play against a Hyper Aggro. Like, those two cards are kind of on the watch list, but uh, everything else really liked single combat was an all-star um but yeah caretake i mean this card right here grizzled ranger this card is ridiculous this card is so good um you know like that scout is awesome um yeah this card is just awesome and then uh blighted caretaker again looked awesome too both of the, these two cards these are two of the best non-champions 
in the set, and they just work so well with Lucian and Callista. Real excited about this deck. Yeah, real excited about this deck for, yeah, whenever rank uh, whenever rank uh, comes in. This is definitely a deck super excited about. Rekindler looked incredible. Yeah. This deck uh, looked like the real deal. So we had... So my two decks that I played that I just added in a couple of cards that, that uh, you know, like two returning decks that I was like, well, those these two decks are just kind of missing a couple of cards. Um, both, of the, both of those decks felt really strong. We went 5-0 with both of them. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to those more tomorrow and everything whenever rank uh, is back. All right, but that's it here for Demacia Sacrifice. So those y'all on YouTube, you know the drill. Hit that like button and still leave those comments. Let me know what do you want to see? What what champs and everything uh, do you want me to build around? What kind of decks do you want to see here on stream and also on YouTube? But that's it here for Demacia Sacrifice. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.